Hello everyone, back to today's first video, doing 5 day forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Wednesday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the coming five days. We're going to be in a transitional period during this uh, five day forecast period. We're starting off very unsettled, going to be more bouts of rain uh, coming up tomorrow. Also quite windy as well. Uh, but by weekend, high pressure is going to build in. And as we go through towards the end of a five-day forecast period, high pressure will be increasingly dominant, bringing lots of dry but also colder weather with it as we go through the weekend and into the early part of next week. More about that in a moment. Just say that websites using four five-day forecasts coming from uh, the Weather Outlook and Website.d, signed in Ray Picture at Gas uh, And we'll be back, of course, later on this afternoon. Uh, with your week's 10 day video update including all of the regular features. So this is how the radar picture is currently looking. It's been a wet morning across the southeast. We've still got some outbreaks of rain in this far southeastern corner. Some quite heavy bursts mixed in as you can see from the bright colours but increasingly this is moving away to the uh, southeast. Now heavy showers and long spells of rain packing into the north and west of Scotland and also in towards Northern Ireland. There's one or two showers across parts of Wales and South West England as well. However, it is an improving sort of picture overall this afternoon as this wet weather in the southeast clears away, except across Scotland where this band of rain with a little bit of wintriness actually over high ground will be spreading uh, across Scotland during the afternoon and into the evening. Here today, so actually pressure charts, so low pressure is still in control of the weather. Uh, today we've got another little area of low pressure developing out in the middle of the Atlantic. More about that uh, later on. That'll be with us tomorrow. Tide packed ice bars in the north as well, so it's pretty windy on the northern uh, or in the northern half of the country. Winds are a little bit lighter than over recently down in the south. So for the rest of the afternoon, we're going to see the rain across East Anglia, South East England, moving into the North Sea. Brighter, sunnier skies will be uh, following along behind. Many places across England and Wales are going to brighten up this afternoon with uh, sunny spells coming through, although a few showers are possible across Wales and southwest England. We've got that band of heavy showery rain across West Scotland and Northern Ireland. That will be pushing eastwards through other parts of Scotland through this afternoon into this evening. And there could be a little bit of hill snow mixed in with that as well. Tight packed ice bars in the north will be another windy day in the northern half of the country. Winds a little bit lighter down in the south. Temperatures ranging from around uh, 5 to 11 degrees Celsius north to south. Overnight tonight, the next area of low pressure is winding itself up out to the west of uh, Island. That'll be with us tomorrow, though, uh, in the main. So, most places have a dry night uh, tonight with uh, clear spells. There will be the Sherry Buzz rain to start off with across Scotland. They'll die out. It'll become dry for a time. And then Northern Ireland and Western Scotland will turn wet and windy by the end of night. All places seeing winds freshening up, you'll notice. Uh, through the second half of the night. So becoming pretty breezy uh, with wet and windy weather in the far northwest. Temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than recent nights, but only falling down to around 4, or 5 or 6 degrees. There's going to be too much wind around, I think, uh, for any frost tonight. The next area of low pressure is pushing in from off the Atlantic tomorrow. Most central and eastern areas will start Thursday on a dry note with sunny spells, but wet and windy weather already across the island and western Scotland will spread onto the western side of uh, the UK as we go through the morning. And then that wet and windy weather will spread across the British Isles during the afternoon. Eastern parts of the country probably staying dry until evening, particularly across the southeast corner. And by the end of the afternoon, uh, we'll find brighter skies, but with a few showers chasing that rain away in the west. Tight packed ice bars will be a windy day, wet and windy conditions, winds gusting up to gale force across the northwestern parts of Scotland and around Irish Sea coast with gusts up to 15 or 60 miles. Now, despite the rain, at least it will be mild, with temperatures ranging from around 6 to 12 degrees. 12 is a very mild 54 Fahrenheit. That's Friday, so uh, low pressure still in control weather on Friday, but the ice bars are opening out. It's going to be a cool and showery day, uh, really. So the outbreaks of rain that we have uh, on uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, will clear away into the North Sea overnight. So Friday starts bright and breezy through most parts of the country with sunny spells and showers. Showers mainly in the North and West where they could merge into some longer spells of rain 
Uh, and down in the southwest, we may get some quite heavy showers going through the afternoon. They could merge into a longer period of rain across more southern counties. That said, many central and eastern areas will tend to stay dry. Uh, tomorrow, with uh, on Friday, I should say, with sunny spells coming through. Temperatures will be a little bit lower, though. Uh, so probably near normal, actually. Probably about average, ranging from around 4 to 9 degrees Celsius. That, that's not too far from average for the middle of January. This is a change for the weekend. High pressure starts to build in from the west and the southwest, turning us mostly dry. There will still be showers around on Saturday. They're most likely across Scotland and again draped around uh, eastern coastal areas. Wintry showers are possible over high ground as the air is coming a little bit colder. But that apart, many places will actually be dry on Saturday with uh, reasonable sunny spells coming through. Temperatures again will be around average 4 to 8 degrees Celsius is uh, not too far from where, they, where temperatures should be the middle part of uh, January. It will become cold on Saturday night with our first widespread frost setting in for uh, many weeks actually on Saturday night. That Sunday high pressure is right over top of the country on so this is a big change in the weather pattern. We are bringing in a slightly milder southwest wind in the far northwest of the country so cloud uh, and maybe a little bit of drizzle possible for north and west Scotland possibly some cloud feeding into Northern Ireland. But that part, most places are going to be dry with long sunny spells on Sunday. It really is going to be a very nice weekend, but it will be quite cold. There'll be a frost early and late on Sunday. There may be one or two freezing fog patches as well. If any freezing fog forms and lingers all day, it'll be a very cold day with temperatures uh, barely above freezing. Otherwise, we'll be up to around 5, 6 degrees in the January sunshine, with the light winds, it won't feel too bad, but certainly that's a lot colder than we've had for quite some time. And another widespread frost is likely, I think, on Sunday night. We end the five-day forecast period on Monday, still under this area of high pressure. Milder air is coming around the top into Scotland, so there'll be quite a lot of cloud around for Scotland with uh, a westerly breeze, maybe a little drizzle across the northern and western parts of Scotland. Some cloud could feed into Northern Ireland, but England and Wales will get the best of the sunshine. However, this is where the coldest temperatures will be. Uh, so by day, temperatures only 4 or 5 degrees. Widespread frost likely early and late on uh, Monday as well. And there could be a little bit more of freezing fog around across England and Wales too. If that happens, then again, temperatures will uh, struggle to get much above freezing where any fog happens to linger all day. Otherwise, we'll be up to around 5 or 6 degrees which is colder than we've had for uh, several weeks. And of course, we extend out beyond the five-day forecast period uh, later on this afternoon when we'll uh, have a look at weather the next week, 10 days and beyond with all of regular features in our second video. Finally, just having a chance for a look. Loads of dry weather around today. Some showers around uh, and maybe some longer spells of rain in places uh, too, uh, but once you get rid of the wet weather in the southeast, it's mainly dry there, and the showers across Scotland will probably tend to ease by this evening. Tomorrow, wet and windy weather is spilling across the country from the west. Eastern areas probably stay dry until late into the afternoon, but most places will have a spell of wind and rain uh, tomorrow. Friday will bring showers into western parts of the country, but many east areas will stay dry. Temperatures are becoming a little bit cooler. And then into the weekend, the emphasis is on increasingly dry, fine weather, but it will be turning cold. We're going to have some cold nights with uh, finally some frost coming along, maybe one or two freezing fog patches as well. But at least we are going into much drier conditions. Could be a little bit milder and cloudier by the end of the weekend into the start of next week for Scotland. Uh, right, so in summary, uh, well, it's starting mild, wet, windy, unsettled, but it's going to be turning drier and colder as the five-day forecast period progresses. By the end of the five-day forecast period, we're into mostly dry and quite cold weather. We'll extend out beyond the five-day forecast period for today's second video update, and that'll be coming up later on this afternoon. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.